Every month I host a DIY challenge with a group of makers and this month's challenge was a multi-purpose project. The rules for this challenge were pretty simple. Create something that can serve dual purposes. These are my favorite types of projects so I got to work building this trophy shelf hat rack for my youngest son's bedroom. I'm partnering with my friends at DAP Products to bring you this video tutorial today. I'll be using their Weldwood Original Wood Glue and Plastic Wood X Wood Filler. I started by working on the frame which I built out of scrap 2x2 poplar. I cut all the pieces to size on my miter saw, then started drilling pocket holes in the pieces that would become the shelf supports. To build the frames, I set my pieces in place with the top and bottom shelf supports being flush with the top and bottom edges of the shorter front frame piece, then centering the middle support between them. I added glue to each end of the shelf supports, then clamped them in place. I attached them with 2.5 inch pocket screws. I followed the same steps for the other frame, gluing and clamping them together, then attaching with the pocket screws. I wiped away any glue squeeze out with a rag, then set them aside. I had stocked up on a bunch of knotty alder during a great sale that my local hardwood store was having, so I used that for the shelves. I ripped the pieces down to four and a quarter inches wide, then flattened them out on my joiner before moving over to my planer to flatten out the other side. With all of the pieces prepped, it was time to glue them up. I didn't have a lot of clamps available, so I glued them all up on the same set of clamps. Just be careful if you're doing this so you don't get carried away and accidentally glue them all together into one big panel. On a side note, I really love this new glue bottle that DAP came out with for their wood glue. The beveled tip allowed for a wide, even glue distribution, and the simple cap prevents the tip from building up with dried glue. I spread the glue completely over the edges of the wood and then laid them flat and clamped them together. I also clamped across the ends to ensure that everything stayed flat and didn't bow up during the clamping process. While the shelves were drying, I filled the pocket holes with Plastic Wood X wood filler. When filling deep pocket holes like this, it's best to do it in layers. I filled each of the holes, then set them aside to dry. You'll know the wood filler is dry when it is no longer pink. When it was time for the next coat, I quickly sanded down the filler, blew off any dust, and then added the second layer of wood filler and set them aside to dry. When the shelves were dry, I took them out of the clamps and used a chisel to scrape away some of the glue squeeze out. My initial reason for doing this was because I was going to sand them flat with my belt sander, but then I realized my planer would be a lot faster. I took them to my planer and flattened out the shelves, then sanded them down with 220 grit sandpaper. I went back to the shelf frames to give them a final sanding, but saw that the wood filler wasn't completely dry yet. One more reason I love that this changes colors, so I can see things like that. I decided to go ahead and stain the shelves. I stained them in special walnut, then let them dry overnight. The wood filler was dry by this point, so I sanded the frames down one final time, then painted them with two coats of black paint. I could have spray painted them, but I knew that I needed to touch up the paint once everything was assembled, so using latex paint was the best option for this. Two of the shelves fit inside the frame, so I marked out 1.5 by 1.5 inch notches on each of the corners, then took them over to my bandsaw and cut the notches out. This can also be very easily done with a jigsaw.
The hats will hang on two 1x3 boards, so I cut them to size, drilled pocket holes, and sanded them down with 220 grit sandpaper. I stained those boards and the bare wood on the shelves where I cut the notches out. Once everything was dry, I applied two coats of wipe-on polyurethane. On assembly day, I drilled two countersunk holes into the bottom edge of all of the shelf supports. I also needed to route a keyhole into the back side of the frame so it could hang on the wall. I set up a makeshift fence with some scrap wood and used my compact router to route the keyholes. I attached the top shelf first using 2 inch wood screws. I was careful to make sure that I didn't drill my countersunk holes too deep or the screws would have come out the other side of the shelf. With the top shelf installed, the frames were supported enough that I could clamp the middle and bottom shelves in place. I again attached these with 2 inch wood screws. I figured out the placement for the 1x3 boards that make up the hat rack and clamped them in place. I flipped the shelf over and attached them with 1 1/4 inch pocket screws from the back side. For the hooks, I wanted them to be staggered so my son could hang up all of his hats. I drilled 1 16th inch pilot holes, then attached them with screws. I found these inexpensive hooks on Amazon, but the screws were way too long, so I bought some 3 quarter inch screws to attach them. They didn't have them in black, so once all of the hooks were attached, I used a q-tip to dab some black paint on them. With my son's wall having brick paneling, it would have been nearly impossible to find a stud, so I used wall dog anchor screws. This way, they'll work even when I don't hit a stud, which I didn't. I drilled 3 16 inch pilot holes, then drove the screws in, leaving them out by about a quarter inch. I hung the shelf on them using the keyholes, and then stepped back to admire my work. Now my son has a place where he can display all of his participation trophies from all of the sports he's played, plus hang his hat collection. In his defense, one of his trophies is actually a championship trophy from an undefeated football season, and even he said it was his first real trophy. He just likes to save them to remember all of the seasons he's played over the years. I'm grateful now that they just hand out medals or I'd be needing to build a bigger shelf. Click the link in the description to get the full build plans and materials used for this project. I'd also love it if you click the like button on this video and also subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.